Hello everyone and welcome to 404s of the World, a spin-off series of Remarkable Engines where I briefly cover the history of an engine numbered 404 in 4 minutes and 4 seconds. This episode of 404s of the World will be focusing on two engines in particular, since Amtrak technically rostered two locomotives numbered 404, an E9 during the 1970s and an F40PHR during the 1990s. Since both of these engines are numbered 404, I decided to cover both of them in this episode instead of making two separate episodes for each locomotive roster by Amtrak. With that note out of the way, let's begin with the first of two Amtrak 404s. In order to understand the story of the first 404, one has to understand the history of the E9 itself. After production of the successful E8 series by Electromotive Division, EMD continued the E series with its E9 model in 1954 with the only differences between the two models being the 567C prime mover and the flusher fitting mounting for the headlight glass. However, the E9 wasn't as widely produced as the E8 since most American railroads were starting to steer away from passenger services during the mid-1950s due to intense competition from automobiles and air travel, which only resulted in a total of 100 E9s being sold. Some of the E9s were sold in large quantities of class 1s, such as the Union Pacific ordering the highest amount with 35, while other railroads only purchased a few, with Seaboard Airline purchasing a single E9 number 3060. Luckily, this E9 along with other aging E8s were inherited by Amtrak in 1971 as a continuation of passenger services throughout America with a wide variety of locomotives and coaches from railroads around the nation. Upon this acquisition, 3060 was painted in the Phase 1 livery and was renumbered to 404, as it primarily pulled long distance trains along its Seaboard coastline trackage. However, the E9 was starting to show its age as breakdowns became more frequent, and it became increasingly dirty, showcasing the state of disrepair for Amtrak at the time, and the first 404 was eventually withdrawn and scrapped around 1979 with the arrival of the newer F40PH. The story of the next 404 is much more successful, as it is part of a class of locomotives that saved American passenger railroading. Well, at least it was rebuilt into one. While many know the F40PH to be the class that single-handedly improved passenger service on Amtrak by replacing almost all of their diesels, the F40PHR variant was rebuilt from the less reliable SCP40F with longer fuel tanks and was more numerous than the original F40PH. This 404 was one of the last F40s to be rebuilt all the way in December of 1987, and it was found on a wide variety of long-distance and inner-city trains throughout the Midwest. Furthermore. 404 was one of only 8 F40s to be repainted into the Phase 4 livery while in service on the Hiawatha and other Midwestern routes in the early 2000s as one of the last active F40s on the roster. Unfortunately, 404 along with the remaining F40s would be stored at Bear Delaware until 2019 when it was sold and moved to Larry's Trucks and Electric or LTEX, in McDonald, Ohio with a very uncertain future. No matter what happened to these engines, they still played an important role in the history of Amtrak throughout the past few decades. Thank you all for watching this episode of 404 in the World. Although both of the engines have varying histories, they're still rostered as number 404 on the expansive roster of Amtrak, the National Pasture Railroad of America. Stay tuned next time when I cover Metro North 404. Thank you again for watching, credit for all the photos used go to their respective photographers, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Have a good day!